Hi there, Cancer. Welcome to your Rune Scope for November 2015 with me. My name is Amanda. i um, just going to kind of start seeing which runes want to come out and talk to you guys for November. There are a couple things I did just want to remind you of. I do uh, have one more rune class happening for 2015. That's going to run November 2nd through December 7th. Um, it's $185 for the six-week course. So if you are watching this on the October side, you have time to sign up. Um, you'll just need to sign up by noon uh, Eastern time on October 29th. So if you would like to take that class, just get in touch with me at my email address. You'll find it in the video or below the video. I uh, also wanted to mention I'm going to be appearing on a an internet radio show. It's uh, Solar Temple Radio, and you can find that on Blog Talk. Um, I'll be on there November 11th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I will provide the link probably with the info button if you just click that or tap that. Um, that should take you to the link. Uh, and it will remain up all month after after we record it. But we're just going to be talking about the rooms. Um, and so if you are curious or, or interested in getting more information about the runes, you can uh, tune in for that. But let's see. Let me get your runes laid out here. Cancer for November. Let's see what's going to be happening for you guys. And this month I'm going to be using the Witch's Tarot by Ellen Cannon Reed and Martin Cannon. As always, I remind you, these are general readings. So that means that not all messages will apply to you specifically. Those that do not are for other cancers out there. Um, you can watch the video for your rising sign as well. That will also contain some messages for you. But if you want a reading that is all about you, uh, you'll have to schedule an appointment with me. I do those on Skype. It's $65 for 30 minutes. Just drop me a line at runescopes for you at gmail.com. That's the number four and the letter U. And you'll find it in the video or below the video in the details section, along with all the other uh, announcements I made at the beginning of the video. So yeah, just tap that little arrow beneath the video. That'll open the details section. Um, also, if you are wanting a New Year's reading, I would schedule it now rather than waiting until January. I do tend to book up really, really quickly in January with everybody wanting New Year's readings. So if you want to beat the rush, I encourage you to get in touch with me in November or December and get yours done then because there probably won't be a wait time. So just a heads up on that. But let's see here. Cancer, what we've got for you in November. It looks like your focus is going to be on um, timing. And, and some of you may have a secret that you want to reveal or, you know, plans that you are making and you're waiting for a time to reveal it. Some of you may be, I'm getting that some of you may be retiring or some of you may be leaving a job. You've already got another one lined up and you're just waiting for the right time to maybe tell your current boss, uh, hey, I'm out of here. Um, because you don't wanna tell them too early because you're afraid they might work you to death or maybe you, you they haven't done you any favors so you don't wanna to have to like tr get stuck training the, the new person. So some of you may be uh, very focused on when's the right time to reveal this. Now, some of you may be receiving timely information, um, information or maybe someone else is sharing a secret with you. And for some of you, this is gonna have to do with someone who hurt you. And there may be something coming up that they've been trying to hide. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're gonna be getting this from another person. So it's like someone, maybe a mutual friend, or um, you know, if this is a family member, or another family member will be telling you, well, you know, you remember how this person treated you? Well, now, you know, their world's sort of crashing down, and so it's kind of because Wheel of Fortune here talks about a lot about karma, but it also talks about divine timing. So, and those things are intrinsically tied, uh, you know, in ways that we most likely we'll never understand. Um, so we usually want people to get their comeuppance a lot more quickly, but I, so this could be a situation where it's like, man, this person goes around treating people badly and it's like, you know, they don't ever get theirs. They don't ever like uh, seem to be disappointed, which first of all, that's an illusion. Everybody has their tests and trials. Some people are just very good at faking it or presenting a facade uh, about what's going on. So yeah. 
And the reason I'm saying this is because the tower card is coming up actually in the help position. So that's why there's going to be some kind of shake up with someone, but it's a good thing um, from your perspective, Cancer. I mean, you know, you don't want anyone, I mean, I hope you don't want anyone going through a difficult time. But if this is someone who, and for a lot of you, it may be a female who was just very negative, who was very uh, disruptive to your life in some way. For many of you, this was a coworker or a boss. Um, or so maybe you are like, you're like, okay, this woman, if this is on the job, going back to the kind of trying to do the right timing here, um, you may be like, okay, my boss is a real, um, has been a real horrible person to me. She's just been very disrespectful. She's lied to me, deceived me about the job, deceived me about my pay, not giving me raises, not giving me good reviews. So I'm not gonna, you know, I am not gonna tell her early that I'm leaving, you know, or I, I you know, or I'm just going to quit today. <laughs> Some of you may be like planning, like, okay, I'm just going to tell her I'm retiring or I'm out of here. Um, like the day of, and really kind of, you know, uh, and, and I mean, for those of you that are doing that, it is going to work because this person is really going to kind of be, it's like, oh, unpleasantly surprised uh so yeah I, I i do feel like you know some of you cancer you may have a hand in kind of delivering someone's karma to them or for for others of you you may just be hearing that someone who was really bad to you um is maybe uh they've lost their job or uh are going through difficulties with money maybe they're they're going through a divorce and this soon to be X is, you know, trying to take them for, for everything they're worth. Um, really a big change. Whenever the tower comes up, it's a big shakeup. But for you, it, it's almost like someone else's misfortune is your gain. And for some of you, it could be that um, someone whose position you wanted is, is let go and, and fired. And, and you are, that position is now open. You're going to try to get that. Um, so for others of you, yeah, this could be somebody like who you were involved with, who treated you badly, maybe in a romantic partnership who, you know, got with someone else. And now you hear that this is really not going well, or even they're breaking up or, or separating. So, um, but cancer again, is coming up in the help position. So now some of you, I mean, this can, with the tower card there, it can be saying that if you lose a job suddenly, because we have Fehu here, which is the money rune. Um, if you do lose a job, it's a good thing. And I know it's hard to, to see that when you're in the moment, but it's a good thing because either it was a very uncongenial work environment, very stressful, very, you were working with people that were negative or just, you know, dishonest. Um, it's getting you out of a bad situation and moving you into something that's going to be a lot more conducive to um, where you want to go, your goals, and uh, the pay will be better as well. Um, got a lot of luck around you in November, Cancer, because we have Wheel of Fortune and we also have uh, Thurisaz, which is Tor uh, Thor's rune. So, I mean, this is about uh, great power is available to you in, in the opportunities that come along. Um, I do feel like any situations where you've been kind of waiting for a fight, it's almost like, because we have the nine of rods here in reverse, it's, it's like you won't, you'll miss that. Like there won't be, it won't be necessary, uh, for you to kind of go into battle or, or to, um, it, it's almost like, you know, fortune and fate is going to step in and, and just handle those things for you. Um, so yeah, I feel like November Cancer is a month of good things coming to you rather than you having to, you know, fight as hard for them. It, it is kind of a, again, karma, good coming back to you. Those things that are, um, you know, you deserve are, are, are finally coming back and you're reaping the benefits of that. This uh, rune also talks about being in the right place at the right time. Since we've got a lot of job runes, a lot of opportunity runes, it could be that you are, uh, you get an offer or you hear about a position, again, maybe one that's being vacated by someone that's being ousted, that is, um, you just overhear this and you're able to kind of get a heads up or um, look for serendipitous 
opportunities in November, uh, Capricorn, especially where it, when it comes to your work, um, and your goals regarding your creativity and where you want to go with that, because I, there may be an opportunity that if you act fast, it's really going to take off quickly for you because you have the chariot card. So the chariot card is about victory. Um, there's also an ability to kind of sail through obstacles pretty quickly either go around them or just kind of uh, avoid them altogether. Uh, but there's nothing in November that you're not going to be able to overcome and overcome swiftly. So I feel like Cancer, November is going to be a month with that is a little bit more sedate for you with good things coming in. Um, what can't be changed uh, reinforces that this position there there is a lot of creativity around too so I feel like in November some of you may be working on a creative project some of you may be um, taking something to the next level and maybe this is what you're keeping secret uh, cancer you may be uh, like I'm working on this creative project or I have these plans in secret but I'm not ready to tell anybody yet or I'm not ready to show this to anyone yet, but it's really taking shape and it's really, um, you're really putting a lot of effort into this cancer because you are determined to get where you're going. You're not going to let anything stand in your way. Um, now some of you may be, uh, experiencing new beginnings when it comes to family, um, with, uh, you know, rebuilding relationships, a new beginning where family relationships are concerned. Um, they're seeing uh, ties to the past, uh, rekindling ties to the past, reinforcing ties and relationships from your past. Um, you do have the universe card here in reverse, which is uh, in this deck is the world card. But even in reverse, that's a good card. That means that, again, it means opportunities. You're almost ready. You're almost at the end of a phase, but you're not quite there yet. However, it's all, again, with this month, I think what this card is saying in the reverse here is that just let the opportunities come to you. You don't have to really, um, you know, push that hard. You know, certainly go after things that you want, of course, and, and continue on. But I, I feel like um, there's a lot in waiting for the right time, but it's not going to be like that frustrating kind of waiting in November Cancer. Sometimes when we want something so badly, it can be frustrating to wait on the right time for it to come to us. Or, you know, I just want to get this done so I can get here. Or I just want to get that job so I can make this amount of money. Um, or I just want to find the right position. Or, you know, I just want to get promoted or get a raise. Uh, it's not going to feel like that though in November. It's going to feel, you're going to feel like you are steadily working towards something and you're going to see how it's going to pay off. And I feel like there's just going to be kind of a more relaxing state uh, in November for sure. And um, now some of you I'm getting, and this will just be a specific message for some of you. Some of you may be working on a creative project that is historical. It may, you may be writing your family history. Some of you may be researching genealogy, family. I'm getting family trees. They're showing me family trees. So, so um, one of you may be kind of uh, really enjoying being sort of the archivist for the family and, and uh, you know, um, getting information from older relatives, contacting people in your family that maybe you haven't spoken to, maybe meeting people in your family or, or finding them online and talking to people you've never spoken to before. And that would be very cancer um, occupation, actually, because cancer are, you know, very usually focused on home and family and uh, family ties. And that's normally stuff that's very important to them. But yeah, some of you may be working also on, maybe you're just writing something historical or um, you get inspiration from something from the past, either your own life or history or a building, or architecture, it could be anything. Um, you know, a piece of artwork from a certain, you know, historical period, uh, that sort of thing. I really see a lot of inspiration coming for you uh, in regards to creative projects and that you're going to be able to spend some time. Some of you may be working on your home. 
Some of you may be getting, it may very well because we have um, Othila here, which is the rune of home and family and older relatives. Um, but yeah, you could, you could be remodeling, you could be ready to move. Some of you may be moving in November, that is another thing, or traveling, which would make sense. Um, these family and travel uh, indications would also fit in with uh, Thanksgiving if you're in the States. So I do feel like uh, for most of you Cancers, you're definitely going to have, um, you know, a great time at Thanksgiving and reconnecting and maybe seeing some family members you haven't seen in a long time. Um, so yeah, even if you do have to travel, I think it's going to be smooth sailing, which, you know, is unusual for this time of year. But uh, yeah, some of you, it's just going to work out that way. A very nice Thanksgiving. Maybe you've got people coming to your home for Thanksgiving. And if you are, you may be trying to get the house ready for a lot of November. But it's not, again, it's not going to feel like work. Um, it's going to go very effortless, effortlessly. And maybe you have people, everybody pitching in to help. But um, I just see you being really taking pride in your home. And uh, for some of you, it may be finding a, a, a new home that you are very, very excited about. And uh, it seems like those of you who are stopping shopping for real estate or property or purchasing property in November, it's going to be very quick. So uh, I, I don't see any delays around that at all. And um, I think you'll be very excited about that. So November's a month where things are going smoothly. So um, definitely take advantage of that energy. And uh, if there are things that are normally frustrating, like if you have to go to the DMV and renew your license or, or anything like that, when she, November would be a good month to do that because it seems like maybe you'll go in and there's no one there. <laughs> You're the first one in line or, um, cause again, you've got this fortune and luck on your side, cancer in November. So good luck with that. Um, do get in touch with me if you would like to see how 2016 is gonna pan out for you. Uh, just drop me a line and uh, we'll take a look. But otherwise, I will see you back here in December.